Alright. Day two. Okay, so what happened last time? We got to our job, saw naked girls, yep. and then our place was broken into. Oh, and we also saw a mysterious stranger. Yeah. yeah. He might have been he might have been out there peeping on the girls though. He could have been a peeping Tom. A motherfucking peeping Tom. Alright, uh how where did we come in? There was like the shed, right? Yeah, well you gotta get back to that uh cave. Yeah. So the west, I guess. Uh, okay, here's a shed. The Jenny. So this generator it's all the power I've got out here. Yep. It doesn't go through much gas and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so What about my hair dryer? What about my hair dryer? Sorry, you might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I could never. Oh, they're so silly and fun. Yeah, there's a piss covered baseball. Can't talk about the baseball? Okay. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go. <laughs> you. Want. Ew. What about in my mouth? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so gross. Eric, he's married still. I feel like uh, being married to someone with Alzheimer's, especially someone as young as her. Ooh, that wind last night actually tore up fucking the hard. Yeah. Know, right? Ugh, it's out of this world. Now, imagine we had a big fire burning. Yeah. Jesus. It's something else. I've seen a still evening kick up 45 mile an hour winds in no time. If that happens this summer, you'll really be in for it. Eh. What if there's a tornadad? Oh, a fire and a tornado? First of mm -hmm. all, do you think there's going to be a forest fire at some point in this game? Well, if you talk about, if you call the game Fire Watch in Act 1 and you don't show a fire by Act 3, that's just poor form. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah. I don't know, like... And you know what they say, if you show an umbrella in Act 1 and don't use it in Act 3, you uh, haven't written a Tim Allen movie. John Tron. So the thing, the thing, yeah, I know. But the thing about that, that it's actually pretty damn cold. Out the, the thing about that rule of writing, it's like I agree with it, but at the same time, like, but there are people who break that convention all the time. So yeah, all the time, and like that. Oh, talk about your favorite bar. Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. We used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. But why don't you go anymore? Just don't. Be all just emo. Don't. I just don't. Fair enough. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, yo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Listen. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Ask about the call. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Oh. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh, mm. fuck. We pissed her off. 
But yeah, no, I, I, I think if you did, like... I, I, I like that. So back to that rule of writing. Um, yeah. It's like, I find it's like more realistic. Like you, you could write a story and you could have things be set up, but then like not everything needs to have a conclusion. Yeah. Well, that's not really what they're saying. They're saying it's more like if you make a really big deal out of something that it has to be used at some point. Well, yeah, you know but I mean? that's what I'm saying though. That's, that's like life though. It's like, you you could think something's gonna be important to you, but then yeah, it, and then it's not. True. Um, I've written things where our things are very important, and then I've written things where, you know, I've done both. Let's say I've done both, and yeah. Ooh, we're lagging a little here. On my end, it is, anyways. Oh, I think it's the no, it's but. Links better now. Links the game. Oh, what? The wire. What? The wire. You just looked at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's down. I like writing. I should do more writing. So I don't, we don't have time now. Yeah. Yeah, I could have taken this time to write my great magnum opus. You could have written the great American novel. Yours is about a futuristic amusement park where dinosaurs are brought to life. The favorite thing you I ever call it Billy and the Clonosaurus. Yeah. The favorite thing I ever wrote was like that uh that those posts I did on Facebook where it was like me telling like these old stories about like a kid that used to like I hang out I used to hang out with and he'd always a like dude named Sean. And he'd always like fuck shit up. And then it got, like, more and more crazy to the point that he was, like, robbing stores and then, like... People were like, is this real? <laughs> yeah, people were like, yeah. Is this real? And, like, I would never, like, respond to them. And then, like, yeah, I just kept getting deeper and deeper and, like, longer posts. And then I, I hope everyone realized it was all fucking made up. Well, too late now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yep. These fucking kids. She's so mad. Uh, how can those girls be so stupid? How can these girls be so stupid? <laughs> Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. Oh. You like radio in? You're a woman? <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh, everything's looking fine. End of the wire. Oh, there it is. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Okay, so the What's wire that? is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. What is that? And then what? I... Panties I say go to ahead. hell with the ranger. That's not true. Everything that comes mm. is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. Do, do they make good money doing this? I would imagine. Because I know after I played this game, I was like, dude, I should take this job. <laughs> just because, like, I, I think just chilling in the forest by myself for yeah. an hour would be interesting. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you'd go nuts without video games. Yeah. Why can't I report the fucking panties? Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I guess they know it's them. So, uh, what did she say? Find the Find teams. The teams. Okay. Jump down, Henry. That's her sister's dog's name. Yeah. He's a big old Newfoundlander. Oh, got a that dog is huge. And he's like a lap dog. He's so friendly, though. Yeah. He's like 120 pounds, but he'll try and just, like, get on your lap. Yeah. He just, he just crushes you and just wants pads. Yeah. He's a good boy. He oh, is. God. Boy. God. I remember when we stayed there one Christmas, we were sleeping in the guest room, and uh, at like 6 a.m., he like jumps into the bed. <laughs> uh, shit. Fuck, where the hell were we supposed to go? Not only she said, she just said find them, right? Did she say where they were, or where she thought they were? I think they were at the lake, right? So we should go to the lake? Alright, well that's where they were before. Yeah. yeah. I hope I'm going the right way. Oh boy, oh boy, I hope I go in the right way. Oh. There's something. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Brian Goodwin. How do you know the guy's name? Yeah, it's written on a thing. Oh, I can't quite see that level of detail on the yeah. Discord. Oh, flushed, flushed with, with ropes, ropes now. now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up. I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left. Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Goodwin. <laughs> oh, dude, you can take a picture of the naked yeah. chicks. Oh, listen to this. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Ex lover. We need to develop the pictures on that camera. Did you hear me? Uh, how are we gonna def How are we gonna develop a camera out here, Eric? Well, I don't know, but I assume there's something creepy on those first pictures. Why would there be a pets here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go to ask or tea kettle went on a trail. Yeah. So the forest service would put up a big chain link fence. A Can you hear him? Chain link fence. Yeah. yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Eric. Oh, sorry. Uh could those girls be behind the fence? Well, 
I get to know. Oh my god, goodbye. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to talk to someone, but that'll probably be a few days. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. You're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Beer cans? Beer cans? Yes, baby strife. Baby strife to do to do to do. So it's odd that she doesn't even know about the fucking flapjack. Excuse me, flapjack. That she doesn't even know about the fence. I really don't. A charge. Thanks, Delilah. You know what I noticed was a thing in, in like, the uh, 80s? What? Calling people hot dogs or hamburgers as an insult. You, like, hear it sometimes when you watch older movies and stuff. You hot dog. Watch where... Yeah, or like, watch where you're going, hot dog. Already did, Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. We already jumped it, brother. Why are you talking like that, brother? Alright, let's keep a running. Just a whole bunch of men's just a running. Do you remember where that's from? No. Clone High. When they're gonna kill Gandhi because he has ADD. JFK's two gay dads. They're like making a mob. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let's go out and burn him or whatever. And that's a whole bunch of men's just a running. <sighs> I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Why is it playing sad music? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I keep him? Looks like a. Uh... Uh, Bucket Jr. Bucket Jr. That is peculiar. I'm gonna adopt him. It has sentimental value. I was actually worried we were gonna miss the turtle. <sighs> the turtle boy. Uh, Jonesy Lake, I guess. You know, this girl I wanted to... to... Well, this girl I used to date, Star, she always wanted a tortoise. Yeah. And we saw one at Pacific Mall, which is like this Chinese mall near here. Yeah. So we're like, yeah, he's cute. And then one time we went back there like a week later, and she was actually going to buy him, and he was gone. Hey, do you see that? And she goes to like the old lady. I see what? I just spotted something. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. All right, we'll go towards that. Yeah. Out. So she goes to the old lady, like. Southwest quadrant, okay. She's like, what? She's like, excuse me. There used to be a tortoise here. And she's, the old lady's just like, no! <laughs> so, like, we figure it was some kind of, like, illegal animal that they got busted with. I, like, it's. So, what I'm going to bring up, it's hey, funny, but it's sad. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. <sighs> Yeah. Um, I thought about it that now. video of, like, it's like a picture of a person holding a tortoise. No, like, the, a video that they're holding the tortoise, and they throw it into the lake. And they're like, oh, we, we found this guy, and, like, I saved him. Oh, yeah, they basically drowned it, because it's not a turtle. Yeah. Idiots. It's funny, but it's so sad, dude. It's like, so the poor, dying. the poor thing. Oh. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people. I'm, um... Just say I'm married. Person for your whole life. My aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. I'm actually married. But you're here. Uh, 
now she's sick, and I shouldn't be here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I'm... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. What could she be doing, viewers? She's got nothing going on. It's not going to snap on us this time, Eric. It's a good rope. So we just, <coughs> I think we just go up and then here to that the rope thing that was over here. Yeah. Yeah, they throw that tourist. Poor thing. Like, I hope it, like, because, like, they're on, like, a dock. You know what? Like, maybe it got its way out. Listen. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure a tortoise, even though they don't live in water, like most animals know how to swim. Just instinctually, you know what I mean? Yeah, but maybe it sinks. Ugh, I, we don't I, know. I can't, I can't think about it, because like, it's just, you'll never know, you never know. It could have survived. I just like, the thing is, Eric, is like, I'm not an expert. I'm not claiming I'm an, I'm an expert, or I'm a genius, or whatever, but like... I know the difference between a tortoise and a turtle. Like, it's just like, to me, it's just a like common knowledge. Like, I just... Yeah. Learned it. You know? So when when someone and someone like that just doesn't know, it's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> oh. There you go. One thing is, I never copy down. How many hikers go missing in this county? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare, because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins, and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a... PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, huh? You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously Jeez, won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head, and then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. And the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say it. <laughs> wow. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. All right. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Even those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. <coughs> I know at this point I got really frustrated. Because I couldn't find where to go. I think I have to go where I was, but I just want to quickly look like over here. I'm not seeing any like beer cans or anything. I think we go over here. Monkeys like berries, bananas, and chocolate. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought about that. Hey, Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? Yeah, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer Teens out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Oh, look, they have copies of Teen Steam, Teen Scream, and Teen Scene magazine. I have entered the Teen Zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name oh, of the magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. 
Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Okay, well, can I collect them? Take them. Oh. Like, a, pick them up. Put them in your bag, dude. Go in the tent, I guess. Oh. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. What the fuck? The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What kind of tent? You know, what the hell? Sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Creep on us on the lake and then came Good. and destroyed our campsite and all our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking <coughs> axe murderer and are going to jail. <coughs> Gone for sure. Well, what's it say? <laughs> They're uh, calling the police. They think I attacked them. Because they think I attacked them. Oh my god! Well, uh, did you? Don't be ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. I've known you what twenty-four hours? Maybe, maybe you're nuts. Look, I just came out here to sit in a tower. All right, not. Get into some mess with a bunch of co-eds. It's fine. They're they're gone. Yeah, they're gone. But you should see this place. It's just it's weird. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. I was wondering, like, am I gonna go back, or... Am I gonna go back, or, like, what am I gonna do, you know, Eric? What am I gonna do? Yeah, man. What am I at? Tink, tink, tink. Tink, tink. Alright. Uh, let's call this one here. It's been, like, 30 minutes. Alright, viewers. Well, uh, see you next time. Bye.